on Friday, April 7, 2017, community members gathered for the second annual Wear Blue event and proclamation ceremony that happened in the Healing Garden at Bonita Moss Park. The event was hosted by the Friends of the Child Advocacy Center, and the participants wore blue and planted blue pinwheels to support children who have been a victim of child abuse. Blue is the official color of National Child Abuse Prevention Month, so you'll see blue all over the county and especially in our pinwheels. April is National Child Abuse Prevention Month, but here in Frederick County, child abuse is being reported year-round. And fortunately, for over 16 years, the Child Advocacy Center of Frederick County has been there to help. Each year, there are an estimated 3.4 million referrals of child abuse and neglect that are reported to Child uh, Protective Services across the country. We work together with community partners to address concerns of child maltreatment, which is basically physical abuse, sexual abuse, or severe neglect. And by partners, I mean local law enforcement agencies, the state's attorney's office, the hospital, and the Department of Social Services, so that we're all working together to create a family-friendly environment where we can address the concerns of the child. We started out seeing about 180 children a year and that bumped up to 244 and then has come back to about 215. The Child Advocacy Center of Frederick County recognizes that child abuse is traumatic and dangerous for a child's life and the Child Advocacy Center has a variety of treatment options. Children who experience traumas like emotional, physical, sexual abuse and neglect are at a much higher risk for serious mental and physical illness. When we fail to provide the safe, stable, nurturing relationships that all children need, their exposure to extreme and sustained stress could interfere with healthy brain development. For children who don't get the help that they need, actual brain volume can be reduced by 10 to 20 percent. That affects everything. It affects how they learn, how they behave, how they feel, how they relate to other people. Children who've been traumatized need specialized help. Just talk therapy, just general therapy doesn't provide the healing that is really needed and so we make sure that we also do some specialized treatments here specifically for trauma like EMDR and neurofeedback and yoga so that we're making sure that we're following kind of the cutting-edge research on what happens to kids brains when they're exposed to this kind of toxic stress and how to best help them heal. We've seen kids kids struggle in school and have anxiety and not be able to do the things they used to do and then when they get the right kind of help, they do just fine. Members from the Child Advocacy Center and Friends of the Child Advocacy Center hope that the Wear Blue event will bring awareness to child abuse happening in the community. I hope that opens doors. They hope what that does is um, people will then invite us to come talk to them more in depth about the nature of the problem and how to prevent it, about what's happening in the community and what's available for resources. I hope that it also sends a message to all the, the folks who are working in this field, law enforcement and social workers. There are a lot of people who care about kids here and it's just a nice way to join in and say that we do. For more information about Friends of the Child Advocacy Center and the Child Advocacy Center of Frederick County, visit their websites at www.cacfriends.net and www.frederickcountymd.gov cac. You can reach the Child Advocacy Center by telephone at 301-600-1758.